What would you do if you lost it all? Like if you started at this place and you lost your job, you lost the relationship that you're in, you lost all these different pieces. What would you do if you lost it all? Like this question was posed to me a couple months ago. Like, what would you do if you lost it all? Where would you actually be? What would actually happen? And the question was posed in a way where we were talking about business. We were talking about what I actually do, working for raw motivations, like posting content. Well, the thing I said is I would pick up my phone, record a video, and then post. And it was interesting because I thought about it for a while of like why I do this, of why it's actually here and why I keep doing it over and over and over again. Well, we've got to have a little taste of that today. This morning at 5 a.m., I started getting these emails. Was this you? Was this you? Was this you? And down went Facebook. At that point, Facebook account had close to 90,000 people following it. Gone. Gone. And someone in Texas made it disappear. They hacked it, got past the two-factor authentication, and all of a sudden had the entire account. I like battled with it for a couple of minutes, trying to be able to get it. They started changing the username. They changed a bunch of things and gone. Before I could even get people to report the account, the account was gone. Still working with Facebook, trying to be like, hey, where'd the account go? Gone. Not happened this morning. And it took me a moment as I looked at it because I was frustrated, right? Like, who wants to have, you know, 20% of their following across all platforms just gone in one moment? But I looked at it, went upstairs, woke my daughter up for church. We went to church, went to the store, came back, got some things done, started setting up a brand new account, back at it. Because at the end of the day, you have to know exactly what you're doing and where you want to go in life. I know that this is my calling. This is my purpose. There's the direction that I am going to go no matter what. I didn't get canceled. I didn't get, you know, shut down. I got hacked. I had a couple of screenshots and stuff. They wanted to hack into my ads account so they could start running ads. Basically what showed up and I got a couple of screenshots before I got kicked out of everything. So they started running ads of $5,000 a day. We got out before we got hit with a couple thousand. Change the credit cards, all that kind of stuff. Like a bunch of stuff happened where people are trying to hack in. Like this, this whole piece of the question of what would you do if you actually lost it all? Where, where would you start? What would you do? And for me, I'm like, start back over. Do the same thing. So we create a new account. We'll go ahead and start posting on another Raw Motivations account, another Ben Taylor account, because we had to create another one because the whole thing got shut down just from one person hacking. So a question to do to, for you today is like, what would you actually do if you lost it all? Where would you start? What would you do? Maybe this would be something that you could wake up on in your job because you're in a job or you're in a business that you don't like, that you don't appreciate, that it's, it feels like a dead end thing over and over. Maybe you're in a relationship that is a dead end relationship because the person you're with is a liar or a cheater. Maybe you're hanging around friends that are only talking about things in the past. They're not actually helping you move forward. What would you do if you had to start over? Would you do the same things? Would you do it different? Because at the end of the day, it's moving you forward in the direction that you want to go. It's moving you forward in how do you actually develop and grow yourself. Some of you might be stuck trying to figure out how do I actually start over. Some of you might be stuck not understanding the next steps because maybe you're stuck thought process. Maybe you're stuck mentally and emotionally with a toxic person. You're like, maybe I need to go back. Maybe I need to stay. Maybe I can't leave because the kids, all different types of things. My question I have to you today is, what would you do if you lost it all? What would you do differently? This might be something that would affect you now because it affects you understanding, hey, this isn't where I want to be. This isn't where I'm supposed to be. Maybe something needs to change. Maybe something needs to pivot or be different in your life. 
Because at the end of the day, you have to understand the question of where you actually are. Is this where you're supposed to be? Each person that's on here, each person that's watching this video, I think is called to do something. I don't know what that is. You know, or maybe you wonder what it is, but you're called to do something. For the people that I work with and the people that come over to Raw Motivations that we try to help heal and grow and develop, we believe that they're called to stand. To stand oftentimes as beacons of light for their kids, for other people in their life of saying, hey, we're going to continually to show up showing you the right way by example of how we're going to live, by not being stuck in a toxic relationship, by not being lost in all the fakeness that's in our society today. How many times do you have to start over before you choose a different path? Some of you have started over multiple times with the same toxic person and just left you in a loop thinking that this isn't going to get better, that there's no way to heal, that it's not even possible to move forward. Some of you started in that same loop and it hasn't actually changed. What will it take to actually change? What will it take to actually grow and develop you? To actually get you to a place where you move in the direction that you are called to move. Are you in the place where you've been going back and forth with a toxic person? Maybe you're just in a rut in your job and your environment, the business that you run, and you're not sure how do I actually move forward because of the fog. The fog of being with a toxic person or just in general, the fog of not having clarity in your life. Maybe that stress has prompted you to start to sedate. Maybe to drinking, maybe to drugs, whatever it might be. Maybe sedating with social media, maybe sedating with other things in your life so you don't have to deal with the pain that's actually there. What does that look like for you? You have to be able to think and understand if you're not in a place that you're doing what you actually want to do in life, then what needs to change? And how long will you stay in that dead end job or that relationship that's falling apart until you realize it's not for you? It's so easy to stay. It's so easy to sedate, to tell yourself a different story, to actually stay in the moment, not actually move forward in your growth, in your healing, in your change, in your development, because it feels easier to do that than to confront the hard shit. A lot of people don't want to confront that stuff. They don't want to confront how they feel. They don't want to confront the the heartache of leaving. They don't want to confront the heartache of like, wait a second, was it me? Was it him? They don't want to confront the hard things of dealing with the truth. See, the truth is the only thing that's going to set you free. The problem is the majority of people run away from the truth. You're trained to do that from an early age. Our society is full of liars. They're full of people that don't want to be honest. From the churches, the politics, wherever you look. A lot of people don't want to be honest. And that's why people sedate. That's why people run from it. 